Back in the late 80s, the early 90s, I had the good fortune of being able to travel around the world and entertain our troops. And at the time, I was struggling with addiction and uh, struggling with my belief and found myself uh, at the close of Desert Storm in Saudi Arabia, to, over there to entertain the troops. Got off the plane and there was a table full of literature, uh, free literature, free books, uh, do's and don'ts in Arabic culture, uh, stuff going on on different posts, and a stack of camouflage Bibles with the Desert Storm logo on them. And I picked one up and put it in my pack for no other reason than I thought it'd be a cool keepsake to have. And, put it in my pack and we went on about our tour and got home and then unpacked and up on the shelf it went. Uh, it would catch my eye every now and again and finally after a few years I took it down and started reading it and read it cover to cover two times in the space of a year and started taking some hits in my heart and that got the water stirred up where I was finally willing to go ask some people for some help and that's what the song's about. <laughs> Sent to sing for souls of Saudi's burning sand. I saw a table full of books for free at an airport in that land. My hand reached for a Bible with the logo Desert Storm. In my mind, a simple keepsake, but it was grace in written form. That camouflage Bible tucked away upon the shelf but I could hardly see it could barely see beyond myself that camouflage Bible that caught my eye years before would be my gateway to salvation and the mercy God held in store As I fought battles of my own, my desert storm against the bottom, losing war I fought alone. Then one night it caught my eye again, began to read a victory. I thought if God could save so many, He'd surely save a man like me. That camouflage Bible, it wasn't hidden. But I could hardly see it, could barely see beyond myself That camouflage Bible that caught my eye years before Be my gateway to salvation and the peace God held i 